Hi everyone, today is my little craft haul. Most of this is from Joyful Honda, and if you want to watch a vlog of what Joyful Honda is, it is a craft store around where I live. Um, if you want to know where that is, in case you ever do come to Japan, I'm going to put a link of Joyful Honda's website down below. And uh, any questions you may have about anything, I still haven't done my Q&A yet, but I really want to start on it. Uh, so any questions you have about maybe crafting, about myself, about Japan, anything, I will be starting hopefully very, very soon the Q&A series on either this channel or surprise vlog. So let me know down below. But now I'm going to get started. And first, I would like to mention that I am, for once, not using my iPhone to film this summer. I am actually using um, just a regular SLR camera, and the name is down below, I believe. But I got this stuff, most of these, from Joyful Honda, except for this. So I'm going to start with this first. This is just a bag full of UV resin, if you can see that, UV crystal resin. And um, I bought a UV machine, which I probably should show in this video, or um, probably, I'll just put a link of what the machine looks like, but I got a pink one and I'm very excited to be trying it out because as some of you may know, I got an allergic reaction to 10 minute resin, looking for alternative, just like looking for new ways of using resin, different resin products. So I wanted to give this a try and I heard, I'm not 100% sure that you don't need to be as uh, scared with UV resin because you don't have any mixing involved. I'm still probably going to be using gloves with this though, but um, I just thought it'd be nice to try it out. So I got five of these from Rakuten. I'm going to put the link down below to what store I got this from, except I don't believe that they ship internationally. Um, I do know that It's Cute carries UV resin. So does Etsy, so does Amazon, just not this brand. It's like Lisa Pavalo if you try to get it on Amazon. I don't know the name because I don't know much about it. But yeah, so that's what that is. Um, you guys have seen this kit before. This is my second time purchasing this kit because I, I ran out of this at home and I already did a demo on this kit, so I will put that down below. And then I got a different squishy kit. Actually, my dad got this for me um, in April, but he didn't give it to me till now since I'm about to head home. The next thing now is what I purchased recently and I got this silicone mold. It is this little pastries um, mold and I'm excited to use it and I think this was in the UV section because you can see that UV right there and there's a biscuit, an Oreo, a cracker, a waffle, um, like a little crawler donut and a heart macaron so once I get started with this I will let you guys know how it worked out so that's pretty much what this looks like. This was pretty expensive it was like 700 yen and if you need any conversions for currency um, I would suggest Google I don't know where you guys may be living right now. Uh, if you want it in USD, it's about 100 yen to $1, so you could do a conversion like that. I'll put a link down below to a Google converter or something like that, so you can see wh how much this is in your own currency. I got some of these circles, but I don't think I'll be able to use it. What I intended to do was, if you guys haven't seen my plush update from last summer, I was going to make some macaron zipper pouches, but I don't think I'll be able to have time to do that. So I will probably just leave this here for next summer. Maybe I'll bring it home. I'm not entirely sure yet. So yeah, that's what this was for. I got a puzzle silicone mold and I'm super excited to use this for resin and for regular non-UV resin to see how this works out. But Japan has the cutest little molds like this deer. They also had samples from Joyful Honda. So if, if you haven't seen that video yet, I'll link my vlog down below. And then I also got this UV jewelry resin. You're still supposed to put this on a UV light. I don't know how long. I'm going to try to Google it and see if I can find any information. But uh, yeah, this I'm kind of excited to use. This was pretty expensive. It was about 1,400 uh, yen. This is a decollage blueberry sauce. And it's coming up kind of very, very blue here. It's actually a little more purple in real life. So... That's what my camera does. I apologize for that. I have this Tamiya Clay Chrome in chocolate. And this is to color your clay to have this chocolate look. And this is for a friend of mine. Um, actually, a lot of these things are for a friend of mine. So you guys may see a package opening by her, but I'm not sure. Here is a Tamiya chocolate sauce. One for me and one for her because I haven't... I don't know where I put my own chocolate sauce, like I'm losing everything. <laughs> um, I have these little acrylic bottles, so there's Blue Hawaii, and these are to paint, I guess, color your clay. 
and uh, there's lemon syrup. This is supposed to come up kind of translucent. And these are all like acrylic paints. I don't know much about this. I was just requested to buy this for my friend. Orange syrup. It's coming up red. It's not supposed to be red. It's orange. Um, but this one is red. It is strawberry syrup. Then there is green tea. Is this? No, it's melon syrup. And then this one over here is green tea. So that is pretty much the entire video. I hope you guys enjoyed my little Joyful Honda haul. Uh, you don't necessarily need to go to Joyful Honda to get these products. Obviously, this is from the brand Tamiya. So, um, a lot of different craft stores, not necessarily Joyful Honda, will carry it. Now, I only know of Joyful Honda as my craft store because that's what's around where I live. And if you ever go to Japan and you find that you want to buy crafting supplies, what I would recommend is you just ask a tour guide where there is a craft store for painting, for crafting, for woodwork and such because they have all purpose crafts in those kind of stores but sometimes they'll just bring you to Daiso because Daiso has a lot of crafting stuff. I'm ranting now but it's just a suggestion I have for you guys so I hope that helps. And yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the down box below. I will try my best to answer them as long as, you know, they're not duplicate questions. Sometimes if you scroll down and you see that I've replied to someone, maybe I've already replied to your own question. So please look out for that. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll be back soon. Bye.